Mohammed bin Salman, the de facto leader of Saudi Arabia, is in Brussels to join his EU and Gulf counterparts for the first ever EU Gulf Cooperation Summit. Your news can confirm. Glowing global insecurity, the expansion of wars in the Middle East and Ukraine, trade and renewed efforts for a two-state solution are all on the agenda. Jassim al-Budawi is Secretary General of the Gulf Cooperation Council. Uh, one of the requests from EU member states throughout the Gulf uh, summit was for greater recognition and appreciation from Gulf countries regarding the role of Russia as a global security threat, but also in particular, obviously, a threat to the security of Europe, because we haven't really seen that so far. Do you see Russia as a sec uh, security threat to the world, and do you recognise its threat to Europe, given of its full-scale invasion of Ukraine? N nobody should use any kind of force. I am personally from Kuwait, and I know what is the use of force mean. My country was gone in few hours when Saddam invaded Kuwait in the 90s. So when we talk about uh, dialogue or diplomacy, we talk about the need, the, the humani humanity need for dialogue and diplomacy. We make sure that this message gets across to every single partner that we are engaged with. But do you recognise Russia as a, as a security threat, given that they are bombing children's cancer hospitals in Kyiv and dialogue hasn't worked because it didn't work to prevent Putin from invading Ukraine? Well, there is a, a, a Security Council, there is a United Nation where we all can go. It is our court. It, this is where you need to uh, address these kind of questions. You go to your General Assembly in the United Nations, you go to the Security Council and, and address it, Sean. Nobody, again, should be singled out on certain issue or certain file. It has to be a comprehensive effort, international comprehensive effort that deals with these kind of questions.